Alrighty, <clears throat> this is breaking news, like absolutely breaking news. And I'm gonna explain that what happened today because it's insane. But you're gonna see on the screen a ton of new construction markings that popped up today. Survey markings and construction markings, concrete construction markings. The same construction markings that confirmed to me that a flat ride was gonna go where Tundra Twister is. The silver distance markings used for swinging or kind of like uh, roller coasters. It confirms either a flat ride or a roller coaster when you see these silver distance markings and they are here. And then I rushed home. I filmed all this, I rushed home. I'm like, there is going to be a flat ride package or a roller coaster going in international show place confirmed. All these things that I have built up over the years make sense now. The diesel generator that is now placed outside of the mountain and has been since spring makes sense now. The construction markings where they're located makes sense now. I am so excited to announce to you guys that Canada's Wonderland will be building a launched wing coaster that launches out of International Showplace, I would I assume underground into the mountain into the mountain and shoots up like Volcano Blast Coaster and comes out of the top of the mountain and then will go into whatever sequence it goes into. I can confirm that this is 100% the avenue they're going to move down. What the theme of this wing coaster is going to be is not decided yet and those surveys have gone out. Wonderland is seeking the advice from their guests on what they should theme this launched wing coaster to and name it. What's really exciting is honestly, like this is not what I was expecting at all. I can also confirm that it also looks like they're gonna build a family coaster in Whitewater Canyon um, and the high thrill ride will be coming out of the mountains. So that is, that's shocking to me, but with what I know about the height um, requirements, the, the max height and all that, the height restrictions next to the highway, it makes sense that they're gonna build a family coaster back there and that the high thrill will be in the middle of the park. Um, but nonetheless, it is so exciting, like so exciting. I I can't wait um, for this to start construction. And with the distance markings that are there, it sounds like this is going to be the 2025 coaster. Um, I, I I can't see why they would go the family coaster route for 2025 in Whitewater Canyon. Um, I honestly think that they're moving this uh, direction. Um, especially with the survey markings that have appeared. Again, these specific survey markings, the silver distance markings that track how close a specific aspect of a ride is going to get to an object have now popped up in this area, which means they are tracking the distance for a reason. And these ones popped up the year before Tundra Twister. And those were the specific ones that a construction company told me, if you see these ones, this tells you there's a swing radius or some sort of element on a coaster that is gonna come close to that building or structure. And they need to know specifically a distance from that silver point on that object to the point of interest, which um, is obviously, uh, what do you call it? International Showplace. But I'm gonna show you guys on the screen right now the uh, concept art for these coasters. They're either gonna go down a blast coaster volcano theme or a concert rock and roll theme. So they are deciding which avenue to go down. I am a little confused with both. Um, the rock and roll to me is a complete loss. It doesn't make sense, but I love the concept. I gotta tell you, I love it. Um, the blast volcano coaster makes a lot more sense. It makes a lot more sense. It's the mountain, so it, it, honestly, it makes sense. I was expecting a Frontier Canada theme, um, not gonna lie. But yes, International Showplace and the area of the concept art for this coaster is all marked up now. And there are some even construction markings in this area. So that tells you this is coming soon. This is definitely a 2025 project in my opinion. It definitely looks like International Showplace is going to be the station of this coaster. Um, and at some point you're gonna launch out. If it ends up being the music theme, like you're gonna launch out and it looks like a concert. If it's gonna be the blast coaster, you're gonna launch underground and come outside of the mountain. So if you get these surveys, please choose the blast coaster. Um, but um, again, uh, really interesting that Wonderland is seeking so much um, input from the general public on helping pick their next attraction. Um, that being said, the other option is a Zambi Zambini Zinger clone-ish or kind of similar um, in the Whitewater Canyon area with a complete re-theme. I definitely can tell that they're not going to probably go down that route for 2025. 
Um, I definitely think they're going to go down this route because these distance markings are there already. They're there. They popped up as of yesterday or today. That's how new they are. Here is one of them on the screen. But yeah, I want to hear from you guys down below. What would you prefer? A family GCI in Whitewater Canyon or a launched wing coaster themed to rock and roll, or a launched wing coaster themed to volcano erupting. I know the King's Dominion fans are triggered in the comment section right now, but it looks... <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, this is, it's so funny. Like, uh, we are literally going to potentially be getting the Volcano Launch Coaster. But nonetheless, we are 100% getting a launched wing coaster as our next coaster, I would predict, at Canada's Wonderland. And it is going to be in this area located in this video. So definitely breaking the news now. Um, and construction is going to start in December. Um, it's a very big project that makes sense now. So when I had heard rumblings that construction was going to start on our 2025 coaster in December, it makes sense because that's an early start date. But if you're going to have to dig underground and go into the mountain and all that, um, that's why. Now the question remains, are we going to lose Wonder Mountain's Guardian? I mean, it wouldn't be a total loss, right? But I assume we're going to lose it. And are we going to lose Vortex? Like, is there room? to be coming out of the mountain where Vortex sits. So uh, definitely questions that remain, but I, I definitely think Vortex is safe. I can't see how they're gonna do this. Um, uh, you wouldn't remove Vortex with you just painted it, and there's definitely been money going into it unless something came up. But nonetheless, I think Vortex is safe. I don't think Wonder Mountain's Guardian is safe, um, but we'll have to see. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video, and uh, yeah, definitely check out some construction updates that are gonna be starting on this as, uh, Woo, it's going quick now. It's it, like, this just popped up out of nowhere and I rushed home and then every, and yeah, but that's everything guys. Thanks so much. Have a good one and stay tuned for some more information on 2024 and 2025. Bye.